Greetings everyone and welcome once again to Mount Define. As always, it's been a busy month. It's been a big month. We have some good thing. We have some awesome things. And overall, it was a great month. So let's get right into it. We'll start with the massive amount of plush I got this week, which are a lot. So first off, uh, I got I got a few of the Easter squish. First off is Melanda, which is a, what the fuck is name? It's called an on, a donkey. It's a donkey with the flower pattern on the, on the head. Good one, you know. Uh, then from the Christmas one. Yeah, Christmas one. It's Dre, which uh, I think is a sheep. If I remember correctly, I, I, if I remember correctly, it was a sheep. Yeah. And it's one of the ornament thing. Uh, from the, uh, Valentine one, we have Pepperine, which is a monster. Uh, I usually don't get these because I don't find them that appealing, but I got that for like $5 instead of like 10 at the place I usually buy them. So I didn't mind it that much. Uh, from the continuing the eastern one, uh, we have Bop, which is a bunny eating a carrot, which is which is really cute. I I quite like it. Sorry for my messy desk. Uh, I've never been really good at cleaning it, so sorry for that. Then we have Todd. We have Todd. Which is a chicken holding a basket of flour. Then, uh, from the regular one, we have Megan, which is a peach uh, bath. Peach colored bath or cream colored bath. It's really cute. It's a cliff one. Uh, then, we have. Varela, which is another clip one, and it's a better, a better fish. Yeah, a little fish. Cute. I like it, you know. And then we have Wendy, which is a frog with a scarf, and another clip one. Honestly, the, the, the perfect size for me are between those I showed from uh, Easter and the clip one. Then, completely unrelated, I got some Hello Kitty plush, uh, which is uh, an Hello Kitty kind of ice cream thing with a cute, really cute clip. I don't know, looked really cute, so I bought it. And same thing for a Cinema Roll, which is really fucking cute. I didn't pay much. They were actually quite cheap for Hello Kitty official merchandise. Uh, then my wife got a seal one. Got a steel plush from it is an official plush from the Pokemon Center, which are the sitting cutie, if I remember correctly, from what she told me. Uh, then she got herself a not from the Pokemon Center, but a uh, Umbreon, which she really liked. So uh, then I got myself the Costco uh, Eastern pack, which comes with. Uh, eight plush, eight squishmallows, which we will look at together. Uh, I'll pull them one by one, but you know. first off, we have Fritz, which is a frog, which is really cute. Then we have Elia, which is a sheep, if I remember correctly. They, they're really cute. I really like these sets of uh, plush. Eileen, which is a butterfly, if I remember correctly. At least looks like one, you know. Then we have Delzy, which is a 
pretty sure that's another donkey, but I'm not sure. I love the flower pattern on the one, honestly. They are really cute. Then we have Gigi, which is a cat with a flower crown. A little bit like the donkey I showed. Then we have Griella, which is a cow, a brown cow. And I really like the, the pattern on the belly. It's really cute. <laughs> the color pattern. Then we have Jaime, which is a chick, a little chicken, which is really cute. Then we have Peter, which is a pig with a little twisty tail. They're cute overall. I'm really happy I got them from Costco. I don't know if they're Costco exclusive, but I only find these set at Costco, so I started to assume they were Costco exclusive at that point. And I got the Valentine one as well, which is really cute. So, <laughs> what's in the Valentine one right here? First off is Candela, which is a bowl. I really like the fur pattern. On the on his belly, it's so cute. Uh, then we have a lady, which is I don't know what kind of bug. I think it's a ladybug, but I'm not sure. I don't want to lead you all astray, so just assume she's just a bug. Then we have Shaitra, which I'm pretty sure it's a raccoon. Pretty sure it's a raccoon. Once I move and I have place, I'll do a really beautiful display of all the squish I have. Then, oh my god, that's really nice. Then we have Fenra, which is a frog with a crown. I doubt the pink frog. Then we have Charaka, which is probably a dragon. Pretty sure that's like. One of the dragons won. They look really nice though. Then we have Nitro, which is a hammerhead shark. Which I was really surprised to see a hammerhead shark in the uh, Valentine collection. I was not expecting this. I'm going to have to be 100% honest. Uh, then we have Magnus, which is a dog. Kind of dog. I, I, I don't know. It's a dog. The fur is really nice, though. I removed the ring light for now. As it kind of fucks up the entire... Uh... And then we have Leon, which is a monster. And yes, if you remember correctly, I showcased it in another episode. I bought it separately. I didn't know it was in this set, so I got him as well. So I have two Leon. I'll probably sell one. The one not in this set. In like a garage sale or something at that point i don't know but i'll probably sell it here all right and yeah that was it for all the plush uh next off my wife got the umbreon flock uh i'm not removing the flock from the box uh it makes me want to vomit to touch that flock thing because of my autism i'm pretty sure i don't know i just it's the, it disgusts me to that point, so I usually don't touch them. All right, next up, Nintendo got some Amiibos back in store. Uh, I purchased quite a few. Uh, first off, from the Nintendo store, I got uh, the Smash Isabelle one, which I didn't have. And I also got the Snake from Smash. Which they're all nice. They're all really cool. Like, they're all really nice. I also purchased the Pikmin one, but I didn't remove it from the, its box because I really like the box art, weirdly enough. But it's a really cute, you know, like you have all the Pikmin. You have the rock one there. You just don't have the one from the fourth installment. 
and the uh, purple one. The purple one is not there. Then, everyone is here. Sora. I finally received my Sora amiibo. And it looks really nice. I'm going to have to say it. It's a really nice amiibo. Uh, I also got from Best Buy uh, my Terry restock. Terry Bogar. Which is a really nice one, honestly. Still. And the one I'm really most happy about. The fucking restock Joker from Persona, man. Ugh. I'm really happy I didn't pay like a hundred bucks for this one back in the day. I would have been mad pissed, honestly. So, yeah. And it officially completes uh, the amount of games uh, Amiibo that I got. Now, we can start with the game. I just need to pull them all up. Whew. Yeah, as you saw, there's quite a few. There's, there's quite a few. There's a lot of games, obviously. We're going to start off with what we got. Uh, she got the Yakuza 6 Song of Life. The Essence of Heart Edition. Uh, it came with... You have the fusion between the small art book and the disc, which is a really original thing to do because then it kind of looks like a book, but it's not a book, obviously. So it's a really nice, honestly, it's a really nice set. Uh, then for Valentine's, my wife got me a Junji Ito book. Yeah, I know it does. It, it serves no purpose in the games department, but I had to show it. It is... Dissolving Classroom by Junji Ito. If you don't know, this is my favorite mangaka. I am head over heel for this guy. Then, weirdly enough, I got that GameStop, the Star Fox Zero set with Star Fox Guard. Uh, the box is beat up, but both games are sealed. And I already own them uh, out of their box. So uh, I am not going to unseal these. I have never kept a game sealed in my entire life. Uh, so, it's weird. Uh, then I got a Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, the Deluxe Edition. I didn't purchase the Collector like I wanted. Because I felt like the Collector was a bit too pricey for me. For the value you get. But for this, it's really good. You get the soundtrack. Which is in this really neat packaging. You get the game itself. Which came with a few code that I already got. Uh, you have a reversible cover that I don't really like that much. Yes, it's Final Fantasy inside because the game is in my PS4, PS5. And you've got a special art book as well. You know, something cool. You get some postcard. And another code that are already redeemed. So, the Deluxe is really nice. To be honest. I haven't played the game much. So, I, I cannot really tell you if I enjoyed it or not. But, yeah. Uh, I also got the Collector Edition for Playtap. Which is a game I've been meaning to get. Uh, I'm not going to showcase it here. There's going to be a full... Ah, oh, yeah. It's really beat up. I received it like this one. It's up. And they didn't have another one, so uh, yeah, tough luck on my side. But the, everything is still intact. I'm not gonna showcase it in the uh, deeply because I'll do a full video like I did with Smartman. Then that's all the Switch game I got in uh, the month. So. We're going to start at the top. I got new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. If you know, I've been trying to collect all the Mario games. And all the Nintendo games. That's another scratch up for this. Then, I got this boxing. Which is, yeah, Nintendo. Weirdly enough. 
So I'm missing the second one now. Will I ever play? Fuck no. I finally got really the fall two for the Switch. And fun fact, the creator of the Bravely Default franchise teased there is Bravely Default news coming this year. So my money is on the remastered of the first one and the DLC of it. I also got Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. I've been meaning to get this one actually and play it. I never did, but now I own it, so it's fine. I got Super Mario Maker 2. Uh, GameStop had a massive amount of them, of the Nintendo Switch game I was needing. So I got quite a few. Cost me so fucking much. I got Captain Toad Treasure Tracker as well, which includes, of course, uh, based on Mario Odyssey. So, which is a really neat one. Uh, yeah, and they, 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 they got, I don't fucking know, man. They got a lot. And I just, I fucking went to town with it. I just started getting and getting and getting and getting. And I was like, holy shit, there's so much. <laughs> uh, I got Super Mario Party, which is the only Mario Party I was missing from the Switch. Because I have Mario Party Superstar. I also got Mario Striker Battle League. Which I had gotten back in the day from the earlier weekly buy. But I had sold it because I didn't like the game that much. And then I decided I wanted the full complete Nintendo set from the Switch. So. I also got Mario Golf Super Rush. So I am officially only missing the uh, tennis sports game. So, of course, I got Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Uh, I haven't played it. St I still haven't played it. But, yeah. I am planning to get through it. I finally got Zenelic Chronicle 2. So, I'm really happy about it. That I finally got it. Uh, I'm only missing now the DLC, Golden Age of Torna. I got WarioWare, get it together. Believe it or not. I finally got this one as well. I, I already had movement, but now I did one. I got Yoshi's Crafted World, which is another one I've been actually meaning to play. I've been meaning to get to go through this game. I just haven't gotten time, I guess. Uh, I got The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which now completes my entire Zelda set on the Switch. I'm not missing a single one. Thank you very much. I also got Kirby Star Allies, which now means I'm not missing a single Kirby game from the Switch. Which is really nice. What do you know if I got somebody Amigo Party Central? I wanted to get this one, but when it released, I didn't get it for whatever reason. I guess that's that, right? I also got the Star Wars Heritage Pack, which contains seven classic games. Uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast, Knight of the Old Republic, Knight of the Old Republic 2, Republic Commando, and Star Wars Racer. Uh, I got it at Best Buy, weirdly enough. I wanted it on release, and GameStop never received my copy. My copy. So... I had to get it somewhere, and I got it Best Buy. And, <laughs> weirdly enough, I got Dragon Dogma Dark Horizon on the Nintendo Switch. I don't know if I'll ever play it, but I really wanted it on the... I'll... I'm going to restart. But I really wanted it on the Nintendo Switch, so uh, I got it on the Nintendo Switch. And, with that... Oh, right. My wife got this... Uh, Belly bolt and toy, but you can just display it like that, or you can put it on your finger and blah blah blah. blah. You can, you, you know, have fun with it. But my wife really liked belly bolt from the new generation, so when she she saw it at Imagineer, that's the thing where she buy her Pokemon card. Uh, when she saw it there, she was like, "I want that thing." And so she got that thing, you know. And with all that, it actually completes monthly fine. Thank you all. So yeah, don't mind my crazy hair. 
Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We had quite the feat of games and stuff to go through. But overall, I'm really happy. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell. There's more video coming. I'm just working on them. And there are two right now unboxing video coming for two collector's edition on the Nintendo Switch. If you've realized, yep, I am buying way more on the Switch. I've decided to collect on the Switch and stop trying to buy it. PlayStation game I will never play. That's why I only got this game for the entire month of February. This video will release in March, but I record them uh, in advance. Otherwise, I don't have time. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya!